Welcome back to the Top Shelf Literary Editions. This is episode 39. Uh, thank you for joining me and uh, hanging around this long. Hope you've been enjoying the content. My name is Ernest Whiteman III. I'm a Northern Arapaho filmmaker, artist, writer, and media educator. And we're taking a look at the books off my top shelf. I have a pre-selected book. I'll give a review, a synopsis if I've read it, and a reason why I purchased the edition. And uh, today's book is All of the Real Indians Died Off and 20 Other Myths About Native Americans. This is again, once again, written by uh, Roxanne dunbar Otez. this time with uh, Dina uh, Gilio Whitaker, who is of the Colville tribe. And this examines uh, 20 of the most common misperceptions about Native Americans um, from a more contemporary standpoint, I believe. Sorry, not flipping through the pages. Uh, myths include All of the Real Indians Died Off, Indians were the first immigrants to the Western Hemisphere. Columbus discovered America. Thanksgiving proved Indians welcomed the pilgrims. Indians were savages and warlike. Indians should move on and forget the past. Europeans brought civilization to the backwards Indian. Uh, and more and more and more that um, they just examine and sort of debunk throughout the book. And I, I first heard about this book when I was working at uh, the museum and um, decided to look it up and found out that uh, Roxanne Dunbar had also wrote uh, The Indigenous People's History of the United States and uh, decided uh, I should check this out as well because this is something I'm really uh, into. I, I like books that sort of debunk the typical myths. Um, uh, but sometimes I, I, I grow wary of um, placing myself into an echo chamber. So I do read these sort of piecemeal um, and that's uh, today's book. That's on the top shelf for today. Uh, thanks for joining me. I'll catch you next time.